section 8, page 96. Dragon is not one particular thing. It is a combination of many different things. It is associated with the best of Chinese culture. The shape of a dragon matches the Taiji diagram. The Chinese culture is letter S, which is Taiji. Taiji is expanding and contracting. The arms and legs are uniformly moving. In fact, your arms are not actively moving. They follow the S shape, similar to a tornado, to become bigger and bigger. Once you have the first circle, second circle, and third circle, then all others will follow. Three changes to five, five changes to eight, eight changes to 13. Along the outside circle, you borrow my energy, leading to this spiral shape's center being empty. So even though the center is empty, the center has the largest energy. That something empty is not actually empty. Sounds like a contradiction. You may teach this to other people, but they may not understand it. What they may consider great philosophy may be very common to those of us who practice Tai Chi. We need to follow nature to practice Tai Chi. We don't follow someone else's Tai Chi. If they have good Tai Chi, then that means they followed nature well. If you don't follow nature, then you can't have good Tai Chi. We can't repeat the same move over and over again. There are no things in the world that are exactly the same. There are even differences between identical twins. Page 98. I can teach you new things every day without reserve. If you give out something today, tomorrow you will, will receive new things. The more you are not willing to share, the smaller space you are occupying, the less progress you may make. You need to try to understand and experience yourself. If you don't observe and wait for someone else to summarize things for you, then you can't learn as well. In the beginning, you need to find many examples as your references. Did you see Mr. Wong took many photos of water waves? In the end, the water is no longer water. You are the water. Then you need to combine the water with your Tai Chi. See if you comprehend more. Page 99. We need to see the whole picture to view the same thing with different angles. Our Tai Chi has no center. If I attack your side, then you can turn. If I attack your center, then you will use your side. The center is empty. The side is also empty. We need the skill of turning force into energy and turning energy into forces. What we discussed, called the empty center, is about setting the center on all sides. The question from a student, then where is the center when we talk about the point, line, plane, and cube? The answer, the center is changing all the time. If all the four sides don't change, then the center does not change. If all four sides change, then the center also changes. The relationship between the center and the four sides do not change. If you hit the center, then the four sides will counter you. Empty actually is not empty. Thus, Tai Chi is quite smart. Page 100. Water waves can expand. Tai Chi cannot lose. Tai Chi is continuously expanding and contracting. Similarly to Tai Chi, pushing hands does not have any particular form. When we play with water, we can press, squeeze, and push water. When you push the water, water will come back again. There is no forward or backward because the water center is empty. Student question. Where is the Tai Chi center? Answer, it is at the middle. Sometimes it is empty, sometimes it is not empty. Student question, is it the center at the waist or the center at the chest? Answer, empty center, the center moved. Only the empty center is the real center. Any solid center is a false center. Student question, how do we move the center? Answer, it does not matter how your body changes, the center does not change. Because the center is defined by all four sides, if your four sides move, then your center will move accordingly. The center is not unique. There could be many centers. We say there are yin and yang everywhere. We also say there are centers everywhere. Page 101. Student question. For any of Tai Chi's moves, should we relax our shoulder, hands, and elbow? Answer. No, it is the whole body. It is similar to la mian, a kind of noodle making by hands. You need to stretch the dough uniformly, otherwise the strands will break. When you move it, it should be similar to a wave. A wave is uniform with fluid property. If you stretch only one place, then it will break. Our Taiji move is not pushing. Rather, all your body parts will open. No one can counter it. Moving is not one point. Rather, your whole body moves. It is similar to a caterpillar. It does not move only its head, but rather its body moves. Taiji's push hands. It pushes while walking. It is similar to wind. Many times we cannot tell how strong the ocean wave is. The really strong waves 
are those you cannot tell from the appearance. In the beginning, we separate the small joints from the major joints. Loosen the small joints and let the T in. Then you will have energy gradually. It is not just the energy returned to you, but the opened energy. This is called borrow force to attack. The more you press a ball, the harder the ball will bounce back. Actually, the bounce back force is borrowed from the original force when you press. So you should never use your own force. When we say borrow force, not only do we borrow the opponent's force, but we also borrow from nature's force. Top is bottom. Bottom is top. Forward is backward. Yin generates yang. Yang generates yin. It never ends. It is always within your center and ranges. Thus you need to find the track. If you are out of this track, then you are out of your center. Page 102. When you understand the yin and the yang, you will understand the force. Your force is a gift for me to use. Our tidy is eight directions. The point, line, plane, and cube are generated as at the same time. Xiu ling ding ding, han xiong ba bei would generate a good, perfect track, enabling recycling the energy. If this track is not round, then we can't use it, because once the energy goes out, it cannot come back. Our tai di is based on this basic principle. Can you not follow our form? If you are wrong, no matter how you modify it, it is still wrong. This is similar to fashion. If you are pretty, then you can wear any clothes. I would like to emphasize that not using force does not mean you don't have strength. We do have force and the ability to use force. It is just we choose not to use it. Student question. For the initial starting form, you teach us to practice turning left and right. Why? Answer. That is just a learning process. From standing still to moving, from moving to floating, then you will experience and understand the floating weight and the sinking weight. Page 103. Why did I give up a lot of different martial arts and now only study Tai Chi? Because Tai Chi is the truth. There is truth in the Tai Chi form, otherwise the form is useless. I can learn your Tai Chi form and then modify it. Then you won't see the trace of your Tai Chi in my form. I learned all the best part of your Tai Chi and my Tai Chi is better than yours. Page 104. Everyone has his mind and wisdom. Never be arrogant, never be closed-minded. If you only inherit from me, then you will never be as good as me. When pushing hands, never be rigid. You must keep moving. You need to change your Tai Chi style. You don't need to have blind faith towards anyone. This is the end of section eight.